Hello there, little one. The party has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Okay. Sweet dreams. I guess I should head to my room and take a nap then. Aww. Sweet! You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Up our rating, I see? Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. <laughs> there are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure, I'll... Sure, I'll listen. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. <laughs> the size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Is it really that big? I'm imagining that size of a pie right now. <laughs> the stove top is very clean. Toya must use fire magic instead. There is some white fur stuck in a drain. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. What's downstairs? Huh? I think you should play upstairs instead. Hmm, okay. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Victoria sure loves to read. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2001X. What is it? How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Huh? Where did she go? Huh? Every time this old tree grows new leaves, they fall right off. Aww. Seeing such cute tidy house at the women's gives you determination. Toriel? There you are. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Yes, I do. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. 
I'm going to destroy it. What? Why? No one will ever be able to leave again. Wh why? Now be a good child and go upstairs. You can't... You can't trap me here! Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. What? Huh? You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Hmm. So she's protecting me. Tutorials here. She's not here. Is she still down there? Do not try to stop me. What the heck? You didn't even move. And. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Huh? Oh no. I'm fighting her? Toyo blocks the way. Uh, let's have a meaningful conversation here. You couldn't think of any conversation co topics. Well, dang. <gasps> ah! Toyo prepares a magical attack. Oh man, she's fighting me. No, I don't. Ow! Huh? <laughs> ah! <gasps> Tori looks through you. Ah! No! I'm sp Ow! I'm sparing you because I don't want to fight you. Attack or run away. I don't want to fight. What are you proving this way? Hmm. She's not finding me. She's not hitting me now. Okay. Fight me or leave! I don't want to fight you. Stop it. Toriel. Stop looking at me that way. Go away. Hmm. I know you 
want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. Hmm. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <sighs> oh man. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. I, I know you, I know you would try to protect me, but I, I. Uh, hmm. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. Hmm. The wounds are very small once you get used to them. It will not be right for you to grow in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the wounds, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Uh, goodbye, my child. Hmm. Tutorial? Hmm. I guess I'll go on ahead now. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's killed or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spread the life of a single person. Hee hee hee. Frog it, whimson, vegetoy, looks, megops, small small. Think about those names. Do you think any of those monsters have families? I actually do. I also thought that they're missing out on on what's going on in their lives. Do you think any of them have friends? Yes. Each one could have been someone else's. Toriel. Selfish brat. How am I selfish? Somebody is dead because of you. <laughs> ah, this flower. Hmm. So that was it? Is that it? I guess he must be talking about Vegetoid. I just, I just thought I, I thought, 
I thought it's meant to be eaten to regain your health. Okay, I can see now what this game's about. You make your own adventure by your, with your actions throughout your adventures. It could lead to either positive or negative consequences. Anyway, Undertale is a pretty interesting game. It seems like it's the only game where you can be yourself. Like, mm, uh, this is a demo version. So, yeah. I'm, I might or might not play the full version of Undertale. It depends on depends on if I decided to get the money from for Steam and uh, to buy that game. Hmm. Well, I'll see you guys later. I'll think about it.